Good evening. Mr. Caruana and his GSC government have failed on adequately planning for Gibraltar's future electricity needs in a timely manner more than 10 years ago. Since way back in 1997, we have been telling the government that they needed to make decisions on our future power supply. Instead, they embarked on lavish projects which increase the demand on power. This is total negligence on their part. Now we find ourselves suffering the consequences of having power cuts on a regular basis. At the last election, the GSD said that the three power stations would be closed by 2010. Instead, the three power stations remain open and additional generators have been brought in to ensure resilience of power. These generators are costing in the region of £30,000 a week and as you all know they are not given resilience of supply because we are still suffering power cuts. It is totally unacceptable that it is in this day and age customers are still subjected to power cuts affecting not only businesses but our quality of life. But this is not the only bill you have to pay as a result of the incompetence of the GSD. A further GSD policy that has totally failed is the Theatre Royal. We will develop a new theatre for less than has already been wasted by the GSD. Mr Caruana once said to me that I knew the cost of things but not the value. We all definitely know what the cost of the Theatre Royal disaster is. Nearly 7 million for a hole in the centre of town. In the field of sport, the GSD have failed to provide adequate changing facilities for footballers, athletes and many other sportsmen and women. Should a health and safety inspection be done on the current facilities, it would fail miserably. The old Victoria Stadium sports halls changing rooms are an absolute disgrace and many of the associations that I have met with express their dissatisfaction at the condition that they have to endure day in and day out. They do not agree with Mr Caruana's slogan that Gibraltar has never been better. We would improve all these facilities as soon as we are elected. The old Gasa swimming pool has also been abandoned to such an extent that it has become a health hazard to swimmers because of the lack of air treatment systems. Sport is supposed to encourage a healthy lifestyle in this case. It is becoming a detriment to the health of our young swimmers and all the other users of the pool. I have been pressing government to do something about the air treatment in the pool but they do not see it fit to spend money on this. We will provide the air treatment facility required. The artificial surf of the Victoria Stadium has passed its sell-by date and is becoming also a health hazard as it's causing unnecessary injuries to players. We will refurbish the existing pitch and provide another pitch as part of our exciting plan for the future for sports in Gibraltar that we will be set out in our manifesto. For all these reasons and so many others, we need the change in Gibraltar. The GSD have taken you for granted. Gibraltar is crying out for change. In the coming days, we will be rolling out our manifesto setting out our policies. It's time for change. 8th of December, you have the power to make the change by voting for the 10 GSFP Liberal candidates. Thank you for listening. Good night. is in our hands Take a good look around Be someone that hears our demands This time we can make it count There is hope in the air There's a will to declare And it's time for change
can truly understand. Time for change, time for change. It's time to rearrange to help all those who need a helping hand. Time for change, time for change. Oh, 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 oh,